Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected, and today we are in Vaughn looking at this 2015 Audi S5 with a V6 turbo, automatic transmission, 45,500 kilometers on the odometer. It's black on black, sharp looking vehicle. I said S5, it's an S4, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> But need to say, it is a sharp looking vehicle. I don't see any major damage. Uh, we checked all the windows. They are all tinted, so it's kind of hard to see. But they are all original Audi windows. So no issues there. There's go. Uh, all the rest are tinted, and they are original windows. Do a VIN verification. The VIN matches here in the door. And then under the hood, which I'll show you later. As you can see, all the windows have been tinted. There is no, no major damage. There's one ding in the driver's side rear door right there. Other than that, it seems pretty good. Did a paint thickness verification. I found some paint and body work in this driver's side front fender. Uh, there's also a little bit in the rear quarter panel. It looks like a repaint. I don't find any thick body work with the front fender. There was a bit of bo body work, excuse me. Uh, this quarter panel seems to be repainted and there was, I believe the, there's a couple of spots in the doors on this side that have been repainted and the front fender. You'll see the photos of the paint thickness in the report. Well, tail lights, headlights, everything is in good condition. No issues, no signs of trouble. Looking at the tires, we find all pretty new tires. They are matching, and they are produced in 2019, as you can see right there. Treads are pretty good, nice and even all around, with about 9.30 seconds of tread left. Undercarriage, nice and clean. I don't see rust or any signs of damage. Quattro system seems to not look damaged or anything like that. Brakes are brand new. You can see the hash marks in those rotors all around, uh, as well as the pads, they are brand new as well. So they've just been changed. Rims are, rim is in decent shape here. No major issues. Around to the passenger side front. We find the same matching tire, which produced in 2019, with again about 930 seconds of tread left on it. All in pretty good condition. Same thing with the undercarriage here. No real issues. This one has a little bit of curb rash showing there, uh, but brand new brakes as well, just as the other side. You can see new pads as well. So the car has been probably safety and taken care of in that way. As you can see, undercarriage is nice and clean. No real issues. It's the passenger side rear tire, which is again, matching and could produce in 2019 there we go with a decent 9 30 seconds or so of tread left on it so pretty new and again we see brakes are brand new back here there is a little bit of curb rash on this rim as you can see it's only cosmetic damage though I don't see any damage to the rim We look at the last wheel, and again we find a matching tire, no issues. Twenty nineteen with about nine thirty six tread, so the tires are all pretty new and nice and even. Brakes again, you can see they are brand new. This rim has a little bit of damage on it, uh, again superficial. Nothing major, no cracks or anything, but they are a little curb rashed. We'll look at the interior now, we'll start with the trunk. We find that the trunk is in good condition. No signs of issue, no rust or anything in the deck lid. There are some winter mats which are included with the vehicle. The carpet under there is all in good condition. 
no signs of issue, anything like that. Underneath, here's the storage compartment, and we do find the spare tire. Appears to be in good condition, and no signs of use or anything like that. Jack and everything, all tools are under there. So, uh, cargo nets are in place, everything looks pretty good. The rear door panels look pretty good. I don't see any major damage. There's a couple little scrapes at the top. There we go, right there. Carpet's pretty good condition. No major stains or rips or anything like that. And we see these rear seats. It's dark due to the tint, but they are in good condition. No signs of issue. Cup holders work. Oh, the seatbelt's in the way. Hold on a second. There we go. There we go. There's a little light. So, it's all in good shape. Cup holders work. Everything's nice. Oh. Apparently the cup holder doesn't like to stay closed too well. So I'll figure that out later, but uh, it won't stay closed for me. Headliner is nice. No signs of issue. No uh, stains or anything like that. Back of the seats look nice. We'll go to the passenger side rear door and that looks pretty good no major damage or anything like that not really any wear and tear shown it's conducive to a 45,000 kilometer car interior is in nice shape here's the back seats there's little water drops on here but other than that it looks pretty good Let's see passenger side door panel no no signs of issue looks pretty nice no damage the passenger side seat no immediate show wear and tear or anything like that looks pretty good floor looks good here it's not wet or anything it's a little damp they must have uh, shampooed it but no major issues glove compartment is nice Looks to, appears to be correct, not broken or anything like that. Uh, there is no owner's manual in the vehicle. I would check with the dealer to make sure that there is one, see if there is one with the vehicle. Go to the driver's side. And we see the driver's side is in just as good a shape as the rest of the vehicle, interior-wise. No signs of wear and tear, any real issue. Driver's side seat shows no signs of wear and tear. Presents nice and clean. Everything looks pretty good. Floor looks pretty good. Pedals are nice. The dashboard looks good. I don't see anything broken or scratched or anything like that. As you can see up there. Steering wheel is nice. No signs of issue. Oh, looks pretty good. Steering uh, shifter boot, nothing's ripped. No issues, anything like that. Looks nice. Uh, the wheel lock is provided with the vehicle, as well as a key. Uh, maybe they'll have another one. We'll have to ask the dealer if they have another one in the storage. This console here, compartment, looks good. Nothing broken, handle works, everything like that. If we turn on the ignition, we see the dash works just fine. There you go, four, five, five, twelve. Radio and everything comes on, seems to work as it should. I'll test all that during the test drive. Looks pretty good. Sunroof, everything like that.
look under the hood real quick. Here is the V6 Turbo. It's pretty clean, looks like it's been power washed. Seems pretty clean. I uh, don't see any major issues. The belts and hoses seem to work just fine. I don't see dry rod, any signs of the issue. Sorry about the loud power washer. Uh, hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, I checked the oil and there is it's hard to test these because there is no dipstick. But looking in here, there is some moisture in this cap, which is probably from them power watching it. So what little I could find in there did not test well because of the moisture. Like I said, I believe it's from the power washing. So that is a little bit of a concern because we don't want water getting in the oil. Tested your coolant and it was fine. And tested at negative 43. Looks clean, no signs of cross contamination or anything like that. Tested your brake fluid. Um, and unfortunately, I believe due to the power washing, the, there was moisture in that brake fluid as well. So it was above 4% humidity. Uh, so that is a bit of a concern. I would flush that out. New brake fluid. And I'm assuming, like I said, that that was because of the contamination of power washing the under undercarriage. I mean, the engine compartment. Tested your battery, which is right here. The lug is under there, and it tested fine at about 12.1 volts, and it was charging at about 14.4 volts. So it worked out just as it should. Here's the last VIN verification. And like I said, the underhood does seem pretty clean. I don't see any signs of real damage, tampering, anything like that. I know it's hard to see belts and hoses. Pretty cramped in this vehicle, but they do look pretty good. Again, 45,000 kilometer vehicle looks exactly as I would expect it to. Hood is in good condition, no major issues. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I did run computer. There were a couple of sporadic codes, sporadic passive codes, misfire detected, a couple little things like that. Uh, you will see those in the report and we can see what we think about them. They may be misfires, things like that, maybe due to, again, the power washing of the engine bay. We'll see how it does in the test drive and let you know. So. There you have it. This is this 2015 Audi S4. Once again, this is AJ with Car Inspected. And as usual, we thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.